Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to use a while loop. So a while loop is basically a loop that runs or just keep running until a certain condition is met. Okay, so to create the while loop, if you have done programming before in something like C, C++, PHP, Python, Perl, anything like that, then you will feel right at home. Okay, if not, I'll try and explain it as best as I can. So um, first of all, you want to create a counter. So I'm going to call it count. Sign it to a value of zero. So this is what your loop will start at. It could be any value. It could be a negative value. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to say while. Put in the line while. And then square brackets. This is very important. Make sure there is a gap between what you put in the square brackets. So you want to put dollar count. So this just refers to the variable here. So we are getting the value of it. And we are going to check for, we're going to say dash LT 10. I'll explain in a second what this does. And then semicolon, do, and I'm going to put done. And okay, so all the code goes in here, and that's what we'll run every single time the loop is iterating. So this is the reason you don't want to, you need the space because it, gets confused about detecting what's the variable and what's the square bracket so make sure you have that in there and regarding dash lt actually i'll explain that in a second once we run it so i'm going to literally just put echo and i'm going to put a string here i'm going to say loop is at dollar count so we're going to print out that value and then what we want to do is you know keep increasing the loop because if we don't this is what will happen so if i run this it literally just keeps, you know, just keep running. So let's just end that and I'll just clear the screen. So what we want to do is say let count equals itself plus one. So you just keep adding one to because so you go zero, one, two, three, four, etc. Now if we run it, it goes zero to nine. So this is very, very interesting. Start at zero, that's fine, because that's what we did. Why did it end at 9? You might have a rough idea. It's to do with this 10. And why did it only go all the way to 10? It's because LT is less than but not equal to. And I've got a link right here which shows you all of the different you know, integer comparison. So if you wanted to do less than or equal to, we could do LE. So if we change this to LE instead, we'll get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 now. So if we run it, we get all the way to 10. And ooh, dude, there we go. There's a bunch of other comparison operators that you can use as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to provide this link for you with this video so you can have a look at it. But if you understand what we've covered here, then you are all good to go. Nothing more to it than that. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. Actually, just one last thing. This is basically the value where I think you've already guessed it, where if it reaches this based on this condition, then it will stop running the loop. This could be a negative value because you could be, you know, going down. So we could, you know, have this at 10 and we could, you know, have, have something like that. Then I want you to figure out using this link, which operator you need to use. So it starts at 10 and it prints that loop is at 10, 9, 8, all the way to the point where it gets to zero. So let me undo this. And all of this code will be provided in the GitHub link. So feel free to check that out. Any questions, pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.